go from playing Pikmin 1 to Pikmin 2 and then never even mention it. They don't even notice that the, the Forest of Hope is the same as the Awakening Cock. I mean, Awakening Wood. You know, they, they never even point it out. And I just think that that's pretty crazy. Um, I didn't know I was a kid either. Yeah, an impact site. Yeah, 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 exactly. But that, again, is something that people just don't notice. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoky Prog is definitely a, a like a treat, <laughs> a treat if you want to call it, for um, the more skilled players, like people who play on their second or third playthrough. Which, in my opinion, actually, the best way to play Pikmin One is to um, is to play it multiple times, um, like in, in not in one sitting but multiple times over the course of the, the playthrough. And unfortunately I think most people quit after the first time, but it actually just gets better after the uh, it gets better after the first time that you beat it, in my opinion. It gets better on multiple playthroughs, kind of thing. Yeah, basically the idea of Pikmin 1 is to fight as few things as possible. 
the natural response in Pikmin 1 when you see a new enemy is to just fight it, but most of the time it just walks, uh, the, you, your Pikmin route like straight past it, so you don't even have to fight it at all. The bowl bear next to the massage machine in Distant Spring is the best example of that, I think. Okay, two bombs. Uh, yeah, I think I just bossed down this bridge. It only has one more cycle. Yeah, luring the Wallywogs as well from the uh, uh, anti-dioxin filler. That is a good example. Right, here we go, seven bombs. Let's kill the little bastard. Ah, you cock. Well recovered, I suppose. Yeah, I killed it. Probably didn't need to. I felt like it. Okay, this is my best run so far by about <laughs> 40 seconds, probably a minute. Just a slightly slow bread bug, uh, ball bear clip kill. But actually, it doesn't matter how slow you do most things up until that bridge is finished. Because at that point, it just becomes an auto-scroller, basically. Um, so, again, I'm not going to collect this yet. I'm going to stop it at this, like, darker patch. And then uh, I'll get the other thing. But yeah, this blowhog over here has been causing me problems in my other runs, so... Getting it just dead is, is fine. Getting it dead. No, I was more afraid of, like, Snagrits and things, because they were just so hard to fight and I didn't understand, like, the idea of how to fight them. Now I'm going this way because I have a couple buds, and that's 
probably not a problem. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't like having bud Pikmin. Like, I'd rather they were all flowers. So, I don't know. I might change my mind. But um, when you come up here, you can flower them. Good RNG so far with my uh, Snagger attempts. Come on. Something good. So, ideally, um, the last thing I get while I'm waiting for that bridge to finish is the radiation canopy. Um, and that bridge still hasn't finished yet, but it will be finished by the time I, I'm done. And then I'll just... Um, I'll be all good. Unfortunately, though, I won't actually have anything to do with the 20 Pikmin until the... Uh, Radiation canopy gets home, though. This one's going to let go. Yeah, I never liked the Steve meme, but I never watched the Chugga Connery thing playthrough, so that's why. Ah, oh, that's not good. Some of those might have been yellow, and if they were yellow, the run is dead. Basically, I think. Damn it! That's a shame. The bull bear woke up and killed them, but um, I've had good success with uh, them not dying there. So now that they have died there, that's... Um, well, it doesn't change anything, but it's annoying. Oh, thank God it's enough. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to zoom in. But this is a good run. Um, I'll probably stop it there. <sighs> this will be a sub-15. Which I guess was my goal, sort of.
It's generated. Uh, in all three games, um, pathing goes to... Uh, it, it follows a system of waypoints. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to explain that just yet, because that's the end of this YouTube video. Um, really cool ROM hack. Uh, guy who made it, Turtle, if you're watching, um, please finish this. It's such a cool project, and I, I, I think there's some amazing potential for some really, really fun and interesting gameplay and speedrun stuff so please please keep going please keep making this and uh thank